<laughs> Tomorrow? That's a good question. Yeah. I haven't really even thought of that yet. <laughs> like that what? So <laughs> yeah, I watched like, the very beginning yeah. all the way to the What are you listening to? Drive, then your destination will be on the left. 13 knots, swells 3 to 4 feet in height. Also remember to apply thread lock before tightening the screws. And you put it on a spoon and you give it to each of your guests and you tell everyone, wait, 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 and everyone eats the hazelnut at the same time. You get the taste of the honey. As urban cyclists, we wanted to deal with the biggest problems of biking in cities, namely navigation and security. There are a couple of accessories that try to solve these issues, but there hasn't been any complete solution. Introducing Smart Halo. Smart Halo isn't just another bike accessory. In fact, it's not meant to be removed after each ride. It installs permanently on your handlebar and pairs with your smartphone to turn your bike into a smart bike and provide a biking experience like no other. Smart Halo's design philosophy has always been centered on simplicity. Biking in cities can be a challenge, so we've made sure our device was simple yet smart. How? By reducing its interface to its simplest possible form, a circle. This luminous halo allows us to communicate an impressive amount of information. Smart Halo finds the quickest, safest routes and bike paths for you to make your ride a stress-free experience. Just input the destination in our app, tuck your phone safely in your pocket, and let Smart Halo take care of the rest. Our unique circular interface allows us to show every type of turn the city can offer. Also, our light patterns warn you in advance of an incoming turn, so you get plenty of time to plan your next move. As soon as you start riding, Smart Halo tracks your bike metrics. Your time, distance, average speed, the calories you've burned, as well as your total elevation. Unlike regular fitness apps, you don't need to press start or stop. It does it all seamlessly. You don't even need to take your phone out of your pocket. Smart Halo is also equipped with a smart nightlight. It turns on automatically when it's dark and shuts off on its own when you're done riding. With the personal assistant feature, Smart Halo will notify you of incoming calls or text messages right on your handlebar. All of this intelligence wouldn't be possible without having Smart Halo living permanently on your handlebar. The design goal of Smart Halo was to build a simple and integrated interface that would fit any bicycle and under any condition. It's built to resist the worst that Mother Nature can throw at it, be it rain, dirt, or snow. Smart Halo was also built to resist your bike's worst enemy, bike thieves. Assembled with a unique tamper-proof system, Smart Halo can only be unlocked with a special key provided with the product. But we went further than this. Smart Halo is also an integrated alarm system. When activated, Anyone trying to steal your sweet ride will hear the angry roar of Smart Halo. Smart Halo has been designed to be beautiful inside and out. There is no on-off button on Smart Halo. 
Its sophisticated sensors detect your presence. It only turns on when you are writing. When you're done, it shuts down by itself. All this leads to amazing battery life to keep going as long as you do. Under normal usage, Smart Halo will last around three weeks. It's become obvious we need greener transportation methods. If bikes are to be legitimized, they need to be connected and smart and elegant. With Smart Halo, there's balance between sophistication and simplicity. You'll agree when you turn your bike into a smart bike. We are from an independent tech collective, and we're tired of the corporate giant's laziness. Regular earphones have wires that tangle and limit your movement. And the few wireless ones out there are too big, run out of batteries, and on top of that are useless while you charge them. So we took matters in our own hands and developed Pugs, the world's smallest wireless earphones that you can charge through your phone. Look at those puppies. This self-guiding magnetic connector is going to change the game. If the battery is out, just connect it to your phone and keep on listening. We designed it not as a square, nor a circle. We call it the, the squirkle. squirkle. For the best electrical conductivity, our connecting elements are made of 18 karat gold. Our Pugs earphones are not only small, they're also packed with badass sound and come in two different models depending on what kind of fit you prefer. They are available in four colors to suit everyone and of course you can talk on the phone with them. A full charge takes 40 minutes which gives you four and a half hours of music and it only uses 3% of a smartphone's battery capacity. If the battery's out, just plug it in and keep on listening. The development phase is done and we are ready to go. The, the choice, choice is yours. yours. Hello, I'm Daniel Barrow. Founded the most efficient portal charger ever made, the Juice Box. Juice Box was founded in the great city of San Francisco, and our team cannot wait to share it with all of you for the very first time. When my partner and I, Ted McMillan, first met at Stanford University, we envisioned a method that innovated the way we all charge our mobile devices. So we began by finding the highest quality components available and assembled them into the most proficient portal charger on the market today. Once all necessary testing was completed, the first fully functional juice box was created. Our team is ready for our large scale production and all funding will be used directly to fulfill future design and manufacturing while allowing the juice box to become more accessible around the world. Charging the juice box only takes roughly 20 minutes and when you need it, you simply plug it in and juice box will power your phone or tablet for upwards of an hour. And the slim design is compact enough to go virtually undetected during the charging process. With all of this said, we are proud to be offering the juice box today for only $9. We include a wall charger, a micro USB to charge the juice box, and of course, the juice box itself. With attention to detail, the micro USB cable we include is high quality and double shielded to help prevent fraying. And from all of us here at Juicebox headquarters, we hope we share this adventure with all of you and we are also grateful. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email our team. And again, thank you all so much for helping the Juice Box become a reality. Thanks for watching our video on the Juice Box. Now we'll be just demonstrating on just how our product works. When you receive the Juice Box set, you'll get one, a wall adapter, and a micro USB charging cable. When you receive the kit, plug the USB cable into the wall adapter and then plug the USB charging cable into the back of the juice box. Allow it to charge for about 20 to 25 minutes and then it should be ready for use. After charging it, take your juice box, 
and simply plug it into your phone or any lightning compatible device. <coughs> Today we'll be using an Apple iPhone 6 to demonstrate the juice box's features. It's just like using any other charger, all you simply have to do is plug it in and it will start the charging sequence as always. As you can see on this device, it is almost dead, but after we plug in the juice box here, you'll be able to hear the tone the second we plug it in. There. And now you can see that the device is charging. There is the lightning bolt next to the power. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. It's simple, guys. Thanks for interest in our product. Our micro USB version of our juice box functions exactly the same as our lightning version other than having a different connector at the tip. For demonstration we'll be using a Vizio tablet that takes a micro USB connection to charge it. All you simply have to do is the same, plug it in and it will be charging. If you're like me, you like to sleep. Every night. There's science behind how sleep makes us more productive and prevents disease. But I mostly like it because it feels good. I happen to be on the road tonight for the National Speed Cubers Expo, and room 214 just decided it was a good time to rewatch Rambo. Totally understandable. Sweet flick. But I don't think anyone's counting on them to give a big keynote in the morning on five-sided techniques. That's why I brought my snooze. This little guy reduces the delta between contaminant noise and ambient sound. That's fancy talk for helps keep me asleep so Stallone doesn't knock me out of my REM cycle. You hear that? It sounds good. That's because there's no looping tracks of crickets or waterfalls. There's no waves crashing on the beach, but I'm in the Midwest. It uses a real fan. But unlike a real fan, I can pack this thing in my carry-on. It's not too cold in the winter, and it uses 98% less energy. Whoa, that's like almost 100. I'm just gonna go with 100. Close enough. Bet you think it's just pretty and portable, don't you? Well, it's adjustable too. You can customize the tone from light fan to deep fan, which is like packing a billion fans. And you can turn up the volume, which is great when you're doing the 5x5 five five and you need that extra concentration. I used to have to take amphetamines, but now I just turn up. And I think we've all been in that position before. Plus, you can control it from your phone. You know, for all those times you forget to turn your snooze off before leaving your house. Nab it. You think it's noisy on the Rubik's circuit? You should try sleeping next to my wife. It's also great for kids. Studies have shown that babies are three times more likely to fall asleep when exposed to white noise. In my own personal studies, it's more like four, but hey, I'm not a scientist. Sleep is important, and those cubers are counting on me. That's why I use my snooze. Okay, technically it's not my snooze, it's my brother's snooze. I stayed at his house and I accidentally took it with me. But that's why I used the thing anyway. I like to think of it as a snooze button for the beginning of my sleep. Come on, Michael. There we go. 